What's going on everybody? Welcome to RNG Crypto. It's your boy here with you for another video guys. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Gala node on a virtual private server start to finish. Now this is going to be for all nodes that are available on Gala, regardless if it's founders, Townstar, music, film, instructions are going to be the same across the board. The VPS or virtual private server provider that I'm using is Vulture. Referral link down below in the description if you want to jump onto that one, guys. But however, you can use whichever provider that you prefer. This is going to be a quick and simple guide. So stick around. And if it's helpful, if you like the content, hit the like. If you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe, guys. And let's get right into it. So today is actually kind of a special day because today is the day that Gala Film has dropped the 3x bundles on the uh, film notes, meaning that you are able to get three film notes and pay 3,985 a piece. Uh, the public sale was 4,500, so it's quite a discount uh, compared to the public sale. Galaverse attendees were able to get them for three grand, uh, but you would have had to attend Galaverse and you were only able to get one note uh, per ticket. Uh, then there was a chance for Gala Gold members to get uh, your hands on one for four thousand dollars, so still a pretty good discount. Uh, compared to where the public's price started at 4500 But again, Gala Bundle is still happening right now actually, so if you are at the film.gala.com website, you can click here on Buy Node and you'll see here uh, for three of them you're paying 205000 which again equates to around uh, 12 grand total, 3985 a piece. Uh, you can see the Ethereum price point, 7.39. I was able to get myself one of these bundles and that is exactly why I'm setting up my nodes right now. So let's move on to setting up these nodes. Again, I am using Vulture. Again, description, check it out for the referral link if you don't have a VPS provider yet. Uh, it is actually a really good service and you, I think you get $100 off your first month if you do use my referral code. So there you go. There's some incentive there. But first steps first, guys. Once you log in, create an account, log in. Uh, I've already got a couple notes down here, but essentially you want to go in here, hit that plus sign to deploy a server. All right. Uh, next step, I want to do cloud compute. I'm going to use regular performance, right? Clicking on that. Uh, I'm going to put this uh, bad boy in Seoul, South Korea, because I've already got a couple all over the world. Uh, I want to kind of spread them out so they're not all in one location. Uh, so I'm going to put this one in Seoul. Uh, right now you can see it's about 12,000 a month. It's going to go to I think around 20. Uh, the OS or the operating system that we're going to use is Ubuntu. Uh, we're going to use the 20.04 LTS 64-bit. Okay, going down. Uh, 80 gig uh, uh, standard state slate drive. Standard slate drive is that what that stands for? SSD, you know, the hard drive. Uh, and uh, it's going to be two CPUs, four gigs of memory, and three terabytes of storage. So that's what we want to use right there. All right, and then going down here, auto backup, I'm gonna turn that off, I'm gonna turn off IPv6, and now I'm gonna go ahead and name my node, which I'm gonna name Gala. Uh, uh, this is film node four, actually. Alright, so I've again just gonna go through it one more time. I selected cloud compute, regular performance, I selected my location, I'm going to set Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, 64 bit, 20 month subscription, right, for the 80 gig SSD, two CPUs, 4 gig memory, 3 terabytes of bandwidth, and now I'm gonna disable all the backup, all the IPv6, don't need v6, uh, and name the service. So I'm gonna deploy it now. So the server just finished installing and I actually let it sit for a couple more minutes uh, because if you jump in a little too soon, you'll notice that there's still some uh, work that's being done by the server in the council. So I, I hopefully we should be good to go now. Uh, however, what's important here before you open the council is to go ahead and use your or get your password. So you can see it here, right? I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'm not going to show you guys what my password is, but essentially you want to copy that to clipboard. We're going to need that to log in uh, and you will see your IP here again. You should not see my IP because I'm gonna be blurring that out, but essentially you'll go up here uh, Onto this little icon there click view council It's gonna open up a new tab and it's gonna connect us to our server uh, So right now it looks like uh, fail to start execute cloud enter see what happens. All right, so I should be able to log in here So let me go ahead and type root Okay, so that's gonna be your username every single time root 
And uh, by the way, I hit enter in order to get to this. And now we can see it's prompting for my password. So what I'll do is I'm going to paste it in right here. Okay. Going to paste the password. This should also be blurred out so you don't see it. But once I hit paste, it's going to bring it into the prompt, but you will not see anything, right? And that's normal. If you type your password, you also will not be seeing any characters appear, and that is by design. It's meant to be that way. Uh, so I'm going to click back into this black screen here and hit enter, right? And that's going to log me into the node. So you can see now I'm logged into film node 4. Okay, the next step now is for us to actually change the machine ID. Uh, so to do that, and I'll have the link for this guide in the description below, uh, but basically, and this is the guide, and it starts actually, it has everything, right? But the, the part that we're at right now is changing the machine ID, right? So we need to change the machine ID to make sure they are unique. Uh, so here are three commands that we're going to need to hit, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and copy them in one by one, right? Going back and forth between this and my console. So again, you'll use this paste feature right here on the left clipboard paste it now this you will see up here because uh, it's not a password right so hit enter on this first one so we're done with that one gonna go ahead and copy this next one right and do that for all three paste it in here uh, make sure I, well I don't know if that even matters but I want to make sure I just remove all the spaces at the end of that hit enter okay and there's the machine ID and I should be blurring that out as well uh, and then finally, the last one that we want to get in here, make sure I, I remove again all the spaces and enters, uh, and hit enter one more time. Okay, so we're done with this step. Okay, so the next step then is to reboot. Okay, so we'll reboot the server um, by using the command sudo reboot right here. Alright, so go ahead and reboot. Okay. And yeah, it, it is a lot, but it kind of, uh, you know, once you've done it a couple of times, it's actually quite quick uh, that everything uh, comes together. So you'll see this, uh, you'll get used to it and uh, sort of just run through it quickly. Uh, fail to start set console font and key map. I don't know why or what that even means, uh, but we'll see if this actually works. So start job, run, wait, blah, 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 blah. Okay. There we go, so it's rebooting, it's rebooting, and here we go. So now we can log in once more. I'll wait a little longer, let the password enter, because it does enter the characters like one character at a time. All right, da -da 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 -da. enter. All right, there we go, now we're in. All right, so now that we're in, next step is to actually go and run the install software. So we'll go down here. Okay, so install and configure Galanote. So this is the next step. Run the script, sudo da 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 da. Right, gonna go ahead and copy that. Go back in here, use the paste function again. Hit paste. Once it's entered completely, hit enter. Right, and now it's actually running the install, right? So it's looking for some packages here. So next step now is to actually go and download the software. So we'll go ahead and hit this. Hit copy. All right, and you just kind of go down the line of the um, of the guide and just literally copy in all these command prompts. It's it's very straightforward. Uh, it might look complicated, but it, honestly, if I can do it, anybody can do it. All right? So I just hit enter, and I'm gonna hit enter again for yes. Now it's going to install or download and install the software. Okay. So this is the part where you'll need to actually uh, authenticate. So they're down here at the bottom. You can see HTTPS, uh, semicolon, force, force, game, so and so on, right? So I'm going to need to enter this into my web browser and I'm going to do that off screen really quickly, right? And I actually already have that whole link for the exception of those last four or eight, nine characters, I should say, right? These four hyphen and the next four. So this is what's always going to change, right? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add that on here. And you can just see there was also a verification status. Basically, it's pinging uh, constantly, making sure or, or checking to see if I've already entered it, right? So I just entered it, right? I'm going to confirm. I'm going to log in. And I hope I don't have to stop my video because I'm recording with my phone and my authentication or my Google Authenticator is on the phone. So I've got to uh, select some motorcycles here, verify it, continue. 
I do have to check my Google Authenticator. Not well prepared here, guys. So bear with me while I go ahead and check that real quick. Okay, so I just popped that in really quick. I'm gonna hit continue. Hopefully I didn't run out of time. Uh, so now on this next uh, polling verification, uh, it should pop up for us. So we'll just wait here. It's gonna check the status here in a few seconds. Let me make sure my camera's right. Go ahead and adjust that bad boy right there. I think that's good enough. Okay, so here you can see our workload selector. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'm only going to use, let me close this out here. So now if I hit the up and down arrows, I'm able to navigate this up, down, up, down. So I'm gonna go hit up. All I'm doing is a film note for this one. All right, so that's all I'm gonna be selecting. I don't wanna uh, use any more computing resources for no reason, right? So film note right there. Hit the down arrow, hit save, hit the down arrow again, hit exit, and I'm done. That is it, guys. That is all she wrote, and that's all you need to do in order to install your node. And by the way, if you are doing something other than a film node, there where we just selected the workload, you can select all four of them. You can select only the few nodes or the nodes that you do intend on running, uh, and uh, yeah, you go from there. And once you're done with that, this is the next screen and you are literally done. Now I can just exit my console and we are good to go, okay? Okay, so I've hopped over to the Node dashboard and you can see here that the node that we just installed is now online for two minutes already. Sometimes this takes a little longer to update, but in this case, uh, we're up and running pretty quickly, which is nice. Uh, again, this is node.gala.games. This is your dashboard. Once you log in, all the nodes tied to your Gala account will appear here. Uh, so it's pretty nice. Uh, we're up and running. So that's a way to confirm, make sure that you're up and running and that you're gonna get credit and get that sweet, sweet popcorn, which nobody knows what it is, but we're gonna get it. Uh, Maybe if you're watching this a couple of months later, uh, you should be also getting film uh, tokens. So <laughs> with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the content. If you have questions, go ahead and hit me up in the comments down below. Uh, and we will see you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace in the Middle East. Love you.